Hello best friends, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. In this video I have more than 12 underrated hidden gem fragrances, good for the cold weather with a focus on versatility. If you would like to find 250 great designer fragrances for $14.95, you can help support this channel and you get these scent sprayers. You get one a month or if you are a real good supporter, you can get $34.95, we'll get you three a month. This video starts now with Declaration Assange. Now this is Assange, the Declaration. The one I really want to talk to you about, I can't find a bottle, is called... Declaration de un soir by Jean-Claude Ulena, who created Terre de Hermes 2006. You can find Cartier declarations for maybe $33. The spray bottle looks like a watch winder from one of their $2,000 watches that they sell. The Cartier Declaration de un soir is a spicy rose scent. As this list continues, it's produced from good to great. There's a lot of hidden gems on here, so I don't really have a hidden gem of the day. It's a fresh aspect from start to finish. It's an elegant dry down and the the Du Soir lasts longer than the regular Cartiers, and the Cartiers have a strong following with them. Above average sillage and six hours duration, where these are just a little bit less in duration, but they all smell good and they all get compliments. They're all very elegant. In 2003, Liz Claiborne Spark came out, which has similar top notes and base notes, warm, spicy woods, but Declaration has the floral musks to it. A 2003 Spark is a lower priced alternative to Declaration du Soir. Chanel Allure Homme Sport Extreme came out in the same year as Declaration du Soir. To give you an idea, the next one I found is called Anucci for Man. This thing lasts a super long time, made in 1989. Gets lots of compliments. Got a vetiver, chamomile, like fresh masculine fragrance with a touch of vanilla, and it lasts long and it's only like $30. I think this is a uh, cult following people that wear this wear this for 20 years the next one is by ferrari that i saw on ebay from 189 dollars then i saw one for 89 dollars i saw one for 67 dollars i found this and i put the links down below for 27 dollars this is eau de parfum cedar essence came out in 2014 and it's called essence cedar which means it's not like a full-bodied cedar fragrance it's got the essence of it it's got some aroma chemicals in it i don't know what it's all about but it's sweet citruses like orange and some lemons in there as well right off the bat it's got a base note of coffee and watermelon actually but when it dry yeah, i've tested this in hot 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 weather and it performs all right but the full performance on this ferrari essence de cedar is like five hours it's truly an essence of cedar. Lots of soft, fresh, aquatic notes of the sea, things like that. It's an aquatic fragrance with hints of cedar wood to make it, you would talk about layman's terms. It's got a very nice scent trail, it's huge. If you sprayed this on your jacket and left it in a room, you will smell that thing the next day probably. The next one you can get is called Issey Miyake. And for this one, I have a hidden gem of the day made by Issey Miyake, but this one you can find nowadays for $20 or $30, probably for bigger bottles than this. This was a 2.5 ounce bottle found for $20 actually. Issey Miyake is a Yutsu lemon fresh fragrance that lasts a long time that the women like, but it's also an old, not so modern fragrance. And here's one that if you like Issey Miyake, you don't want to smell like your dad or whatever, try Issey Miyake. Sport. The next three I'm going to talk about are some of the most blind buy worthy, most popular, most complimented fragrances on this entire list. And I wanted to put them in the middle. The first one is Coach for Men. Coach for Men is all ladies love it all the time. James Franco was the face of this fragrance michael b jordan was also the face of this fragrance it's basically pears and cardamom and it's just uh women attracting fragrance you'll love the way it starts out some people don't like it some people do like it some people compare it to sauvage some people th say it lasts five hours some people say four hours some people say seven hours i got five hours out of it and i got lots of compliments i'd give it a rating of a nine on simplicity and ease of wear and all around you could just buy it and know that it's going to be good and then they just came out with this blue one called coach blue which has got lime absinthe and black pepper absinthe is that drink you might find in prague if you're over in prague trying to buy those drinks over there this thing lasts the same amount of time five to seven hours longevity and also projects two feet and spray it on four times and that's how much i got that's how i rated this thing Lots of compliments on this. Even at an outdoor restaurant this past warm weather day with a girl wearing a mask, she said, hey, what is that you got on? I can smell it through my mask. So there's that. This is called Issey Miyake Sport. I was about to tell you about this one. It's a soft sillage. This one 
has like a tennis racket or some sort of feeling cap right here. It came out 2013 or something like that. A similar scent cheaper to this is called Ferrari Scuderia Black from 2013. This one is a soft sillage, great for summer or fall when it's warm. At 19 years of age, for this one is younger feeling than this one, regular Isimiyaki. So you can probably get away better with that. It's also Isimiyaki Sport is great for going to sporting events. Johnny Barbados Crimson Red. I love this fragrance. It has a sex appeal to it. It's got a cool hexagon bottle and a beautiful crimson red color to it. It has a coffee note, an oxygen note, which is very unique. It just basically makes you feel clean and fresh and unique and it lasts a long time. It works in high heat, cold weather, wherever you want. It has some resins and musk and vetiver in it. Total compliments, getter. Don't sleep on this because I heard it was discontinued. Salvatore Ferragamo. Casual life has coffee in it, geranium. The base has cashmere wood. It's a coffee scent mixed with Ambroxan to give it a sweet woody floral vibe from the geraniums. When they say cashmere woods, it's a collective blend of oil such as amber and cedar and vanilla giving it softness. It's kind of a citrusy soft vetiver that wants to go gourmandish but doesn't. Where this one does go gourmandish. Gourmandish means dessert-like and sweeter. This is called the signature edition. It's more tweaked on the darker notes. Then they have one called... Womo Ferragamo, which is more of a tiramisu, almost like a chocolate vanilla type cake. It's really sexy and you'll smell like a dessert. There's three of them. Here's two of them to show you. They came out in 2017 or 2018, 2019 respectively. Then as we were talking about Cartier Declaration du Soir, it's a rose fragrance. Here's another rose fragrance you might consider. It's called Toy Boy, an opaque black bottle. It looks like some sort of a teddy bear. You can remove his head and the sprayer comes out. It's a, a lovely fragrance that fragrance aficionados absolutely love. They don't talk bad about it. Pressurized sprayer, gives a fresh appeal. You've got pines, lemons in here, balsam woods, vanilla, spicy rose type fragrance it makes you smell very expensive and it's found very cheap and it's kind of a cool bottle but some people say it's not then another one i found great for a cold cold weather oud al diwan it smells like a niche fragrance called epic man this is lovely spicy light wooded floral i just love it and it smells expensive and it only cost 37 dollars and then here's a great one this is called Ungaro Man for 2017. You see this bottle? Looks like they cut a bottle in half or something. It's kind of weird, circular architectural design. It's basically tobacco, basil, and mint. And you can find this 20 bucks probably. Ungaro Man gets the job done for 19 years of age all the way to 45. It's very easy to wear. It's just a cheap fragrance. It doesn't last that long, but it's, it's cool for this weather. This one lasts a very long time, Patron de Nuit. It's an elegant, more original flavor like Creed Aventus. If you can find this, it costs about a little bit higher than most of these, but it's highly recommended if you want to smell like Creed Aventus. This is called Mades Dieu for women. If you're a lady out there and you like the smell of strawberries and cherries dipped in a chocolate milk honey type sugared woody fragrance that lasts a long time and projects well and is thick and heavy but sweet and playful all at the same time. Mores Dieu by Afnan. And here is one that we have two left. I can't find it anywhere on the internet. It's called Mores Dieu pour Homme. It's an orange, saffron, spicy niche fragrance. Last 10, 12 hours. It's got some bite to it, so be careful with that. And my favorite one of the whole season is called Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail. But this one's Rue Broca. It smells just like it. Lasts longer than it and costs a third of the price of it. Thank you very much. I want to hear from you. What is an underrated hidden gem cheapie that you know about for cold weather? Comment down below. What's up, viewer of the day? Chef Coelho.